Good morning. How are you today? I think you are fine. Доброе утро. Как твои дела? Я думаю, у тебя все хорошо. Theme of the lesson is Marco Polo. Тема нашего урока – Марко Поло. Today at the lesson you will learn new words and talk about Марко Поло. Today you will know about Марко Поло's journey. Are you ready? Let's start! New words – новые слова. Emperor – император. Prison – тюрьма, тюрьме. Palace – дворец, сарай. Journey – Путешествие, саяхат, war, война, сорос. Children, let's use pictures to learn new words. Ребята, с помощью картинок давайте познакомимся с новыми словами. Emperor, император. Palace, дворец, сарай. Journey, путешествие, саяхат, war. Война, сорос, prison, тюрьма, тюрьме. Dear children, let's read about Marco Polo's journey to China. Exercise 26, page 88. Listen and read. Ребята, давайте прочитаем о поездке Марко Поло в Китай. Марко Поло started his journey to China when he was 17 years old. He arrived at the palace of Kublai Han, the emperor of China. Kublai Han liked Marco Polo because he was very clever. Marco Polo worked for the emperor for 17 years. Marco Polo left China in 1292. Three years later, Marco Polo arrived in Venice. In 1298, there was a war between Venice and Genoa. Marco Polo ended up in prison. In prison, Marco Polo met a writer. Marco told him about China and he wrote a book called The Travels of Marco Polo. Today, we know a lot about China because of Marco Polo. People call Marco Polo one of the greatest explorers of all time. Look at the following task. Let's read again and put the sentences in the right order. Ребята, прочтите текст еще раз и расставьте предложение в правильном порядке. Let's check. A is 1. Marco Polo left for China. B is 3. He worked for the Emperor of China for 17 years. C is 6. He returned to Venice in 1295. D is 5. He fought in the war and ended up in prison. E is 4. He told a writer about China. F is 2. The writer wrote a book called The Travels of Marco Polo. Well done! Children, in this task you should mark the sentences as T2 or F false. Ребята, в этом задании вы должны отметить предложение как T истина или F ложь. Marco Polo started his journey at the age of 20. Yes, it's false. Marco Polo left China in 1295. Yes, it's false. Five years later, he arrived in Venice. You are right, it's false. Marco Polo ended up in prison. Very good, it's true. People call Marco Polo one of the greatest explorers of all time. Yes, it's true. Well done. Children, let's read the dialogue, choose the right answer and complete. Ребята, давайте прочитаем диалог, выберем правильный ответ и заполним.
Let's check. One is A. Hello. Two is D. I fought in the battle between Venice and Genoa. Three is F. I was an explorer. Four is C. Oh, yes, I have. Five is B. I arrived back in Venice 1295. Six is E. Oh, yes, and then all the world can find out about China. Well done! Now it's time for reflection. Clap your hands if you feel great and learned much. Stamp your feet if you feel fine and learned a little. My dear children, you can pronounce the new words. You know about Marco Polo. You have done a great job. Goodbye. See you soon. До свидания.